I have a, uh, I have a question tonight for King Mswati. King Mswati, can you explain to me how you have the audacity to go and grab a child of Gauzela and throw him in prison, an innocent child, just because you're after his father there, who is now in Great Britain, was a member of parliament elected by the people of Swaziland, right? In your monarchical democracy, right? You go and grab an innocent child and you throw him in jail. You send 50 armed police to go and grab the son of, of Gauzela. What has Gauzela done? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. He was representing his constituents and he presented a, a case in parliament. And then you went, he's lucky he escaped. But Kurt and Tandeni are still in prison for demanding just a just fair equitable nation for the people of Swaziland. So how is that a crime? How is that a crime, Makositiv? Murderer, assassin, who just made a Tulana Masego. Desperate measures for desperate men. We are done, Makositiv. This, yeah, you'll scare Swazis for a minute. But I mean, I'm going to come from an international uh, 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 perspective. I'm going to get these Americans. They'll be on you. Watch. Okay? One, I'm going to ban you from coming to the United States. The kids can study here. You cannot come here to the United States. I'm going to do it. I don't know, I don't know how long it's going to take me. Uh, 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 but I can guarantee you, you're going to, you will not be able to enter the United States ever again. And your children will never be able to come and study here. And we'll target you, sanction all the money that you, the money laundering. We'll stop it. Makosetive, because you are an idiot. You are now flirting with the Russians because you think you can use them against the Americans. Kauzela is an elected member of parliament. Kauzela Smelan. He went to South Africa in exile when he got inside information that you are out to arrest him. You've issued a warrant of arrest for Kauzela. What has he done? What is the crime? A religious man, a God-fearing man, a musician, a man that w w was doing very well for his community. And you're after him, winner, because you think you're the mighty, powerful God. Makosetiv. <laughs> I'm telling you, you'll see what's coming, when. When the only thing that keeps you in power is because the people of Swaziland are not organized. They don't want to form the GNU and all come together. A United States ambassador asked them, how are you going to govern? How, how are you going to run the country? Which was an opening, but Swazis didn't get it because they are not sophisticated. She was basically saying, ah, I can see, yeah, this is clown, King Swat is a clown. But how are you going to govern when you went to the United States embassy there? They responded to you, but you didn't know how to follow through. Because we want to have dialogue. Even Kauzela himself, we want to have dialogue with our king. We're going to sit down and talk with this man. He's showing you now. <laughs> yeah, even in Sadak, he's friends with the people in Sadak, so they're not going to enforce it. So, I mean, I'm going to come from the United States and deal with you, Makosetiv. And we're going to have the EU as well join us in dealing with you. You're assassinating innocent people. We are now arresting democratically, in, your, in fact, it's not even real democracy, democratically elected members of parliament in your parliament who are raising issues and the grievances of the people of Swaziland. And you arrest them, you throw them in jail, and you terrorizing, you terrorize the whole country. Over what, Makosetiv? I mean, I try to help you here in the United States. If you had listened to me, two things. Swazin would be a very successful country, and you would be personally a billionaire. Because the companies would, that invest in Swazin would pay you. You don't ever have to steal from Swazis. You steal their retirement accounts, you steal all their money. You didn't have to do that, Makosetiv. I told you. And I begged you for years and years. Left me in a room full of investors. Went to Las Vegas to look for prostitutes. Why should we put up with your rubbish? No, Swazis are allowing it. Yeah. You kill Tulane, they go. Buy it, buy it, and still go there. That's why now I'm after them. I'm insulting them. I'm mean to them because they're idiots. Yeah, that's the only reason why you stay in power. But sooner or later, they realize Manti is right. We'll get you, Makosetiv. Just sit back and watch. I mean, I don't want you to die. I want you to put you there in prison for many years and feel what them are feeling. Yeah. Yeah, we'll try you publicly at some national stadium. That's what Nanti wants. 
Good to Jabo put demo and all these stupid clowns, they don't understand. We all need to come together and form this GNU and come and close this case. It can easily be done. I mean, I know everybody here in the United States. Congressmen and senators, a lot, a lot of them are my friends. I know them. Some of them, I work with them. But when I will get you, I promise you that. Yeah. Good thing that the ground game has to be straight. I mean, I could have closed this case a long time ago, but Swazis don't want to listen to me. When the American ambassador asked them, how are you going to govern? They got flat one of the city, direction in the band. But in the direction, Mlungis Makanya, Kauzela, Smongle Mazbugo, IP, Nininong. No, IP, when are you, you, you get it. But all these other clowns, they don't get it. Okay, bye-bye.